every time that I do wear them, I actually enjoy them more and more each time. I want to do a review today on Homeland and Amberland by Happy Land Fragrances. Two new fragrances that EJ Wells sent to me after I did a top 10 or top 12 of my favorite Happy Land fragrances. I went ahead and listed them all. These were two of the newer ones, so he sent me nice one ounce samplers here so I can give you guys my two cents. I mean, he gave these to me back in January. Initially, I smelled them. They're just 100% 80s and 90s style fragrances. If you know anything about my channel, I'm not the biggest fan of 80s slash 90s style fragrances. Now I know people put them in their highest list and some of their best fragrances ever. I don't know what it is. I don't really go towards those generally. So I kind of postponed doing a review on these because I didn't want Want to just make a review saying you know oh i'm just not really into 80 slash 90 style scent i've actually wanted to do a review on this for a long time and i've actually worn these probably about four or five days each and every time that i do wear them i actually enjoy them more and more each time so let's jump right into homeland again like an 80 slash 90 style fragrance this is probably ej's most right down the middle style fragrance that i've smelled going after a normal style cologne usually he has a lot of different style fragrances they're not really just you know, a classic man signature style scent. And this is kind of like, I would say his signature. I think he has an Omland Extreme, but this one actually lasts pretty long. The notes are lavender, citrus, wood notes, vetiver, ambergris. Very classic style notes, not really too much of anything adventurous, but at the same time, classic notes that are used in everything. It doesn't surprise me. This one lasts probably a little bit longer than Amberland. To me, I'm not really, but I definitely do prefer the opening to me personally on the dry down it's just kind of a little bit average to me like not taking anything away from it and again it's not really my style fragrance i'm sure there's somebody if you like 80 slash 90 style fragrances this is probably like one of the absolute best that i recommend that you try for sure smell rating of an eight likability of a 7.5 just because it has a little bit of those data qualities but it also is very good and then longevity and projection 8.5 to a 9 because this did last longer than Amberland. And they also have an extreme version if you want even more strength. But I did find that this one lasted a long, long time. I think I sprayed this in the middle of the day yesterday and I could smell it on my hand in the morning. And I sprayed this on the other hand and I didn't really smell it in the morning. But let's jump right into Amberland now that we're talking about it. I did prefer Amberland to Homeland because it's almost like a sweet likability, similar to Ojan, similar to highly blended amber style fragrances. And like I was saying, it doesn't last as long, but the dry down on this stuff is absolutely heavenly. I didn't really smell any of the negatives. I wrote down the notes here, bergamot, orange, labanum, labanum, something like that. Patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, amber. The lavender was in the other one, but I think the lavender and the patchouli contribute to that classic style vibe that I get in both these. I was super surprised by the dry down of this one yesterday. None of that 80s slash 90s style vibe that I got in the opening. And even then, that vibe is a little bit muted. It wasn't as strong as Homeland, but I wouldn't recommend these scents if you just don't like 80s slash 90s style scents because you're just not gonna like it. But if you're like, yeah, I really do like it if it's well done, if it's high quality, if it's well blended, and these are 100% just fantastic. The more I wear them, the more I enjoy them. And I think for a lot of people, this is probably one of the higher recommended, I would recommend for kind of older guys if you wanna get into Happy Land fragrances. I like their Rhyolite. I like their Paisley Sky. And I like a few other ones, but Rhyolite and Paisley Sky are kind of a little bit extreme, maybe a little bit more youthful, a little bit just more straightforward, sexy. These are a little bit more robust, more classic style fragrances. And then I know there's a lot of style people who these are probably some of their best offerings from Happy Land right here. That's been my thoughts on Amberland and Homeland, two very good fragrances. EJ Wells, I, I read something on Facebook that he wasn't doing too well and he had to shut down the Happy Land store temporarily. So hopefully you're feeling a better EJ Wells. Sorry for taking so long on this review. And actually it was a good thing because I got to test these more and I actually really, really enjoyed them. And you guys know how much I really like Happy Land fragrances. I don't think I've smelled a bad one yet i just really really enjoy them let me know if you tried happy land fragrances let me know if you've tried these two i definitely think they are very solid but again my favorites are probably rhyolite and paisley sky and uh, maybe there's another one if i forget i'll put it on there but rhyolite and paisley sky i absolutely love them this is by my two cents like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace Two new fragrances that I, uh, 